Howdy folks, Deacon Parsons here. The subject of this video is the latest mass shootings that we've had here in the United States. Now I don't normally do videos on mass shootings in the news, but I've noticed some things about these latest ones that I don't see anybody talking about and I think it needs to get out in the public. This last spat of shootings have been statistical anomalies. Each has used a semi-automatic rifle with a large capacity magazine. That's very unusual to have three of those in a row. I think this is something to look into. Leftists have been caught on video saying they intentionally trigger unstable people, but this looks unusual. The reaction to these shootings, on the other hand, have been incredibly standard. Immediately, the left blames Trump, the right, creationists, flat earthers, whatever, and demands new laws that everyone knows didn't and wouldn't have stopped the current shooting anyway. The very same people who say that Trump is literally Hitler want Trump to confiscate the guns from the people. They want the racist, homophobic, murderous police and military that they hate to be the only people with guns. Guns get smuggled into prisons for crying out loud. We know and have known for years that keeping guns out of the hands of criminals is impossible. Not only do attempts not work, but those attempts make the average citizen less safe. And for proof, you can look at every major city's crime statistics. Now the right, on the other hand, waits till the actual facts are solidified, takes the left argument apart with reason, facts, and logic, which bounce off the raw emotion of the left. Lather, rinse, repeat. Ho-hum, how boring. However, if you look closely at these cases, there is a fact that's being overlooked, and I think it's important. To get started, let's look at some statistics as reported at the time of this writing. For a baseline, here's Chicago's year-to-date numbers. So far this year, Chicago has had 278 people shot and killed, 1,365 people shot and wounded. But these are mostly black people killing black people in a venue that's been run by the Democratic machine, full of gun control for half a century or more. The left and the mainstream news have no desire to publicize these numbers since they can't blame it on Trump or his deplorable supporters. Now, in Gilroy, California shooting, there were three people killed, 13 people wounded. Dayton, Ohio shooting had nine people killed, 27 people wounded. El Paso, Texas shooting had 22 killed and 24 wounded. Now I can't find out anywhere if these shooters came from fatherless homes. The news media doesn't like to report such things, but Gilroy and Dayton were almost certainly gun-free zones. El Paso was probably a gun-free zone because one would expect with Texas's carry rate if guns were allowed there, someone from the crowd would have engaged the shooter instead of waiting for the six-minute response from police. And make no mistake, a six-minute response is lightning fast. Kudos to the police in El Paso. So why were the casualties in Gilroy and Dayton so much smaller than El Paso? Because the police were already on the ground there, and in each case, it is reported that they engaged and neutralized the shooter in less than a minute. Now think about that. In a gun-controlled dream world, where the sheeple are disarmed and the police are in the crowd and doing the best job humanly possible, a determined shooter can still create a mass shooting. Given everything they want, where every gun control effort works as well as it possibly can, the police cannot protect us. Period. It's time to face facts. Some people are evil. Criminals will get guns or knives or gasoline or propane tanks or ad nauseum and break the law. The only way to avoid more mass shootings is to eliminate gun-free zones that provide a large selection of unarmed targets. Couple that with mental health reform 
and an end to the censoriousness of media that breeds angry people in the first place, and we will have a chance of curtailing or even eliminating such violence. If we don't address these key issues, the problem will only get worse. This is Deacon Parsons saying, Keep your powder dry, love your maker, love your mate, and do what's right because it's right, and devil take the hindmost.